I always found the Fantastic Frontier lore to be unorganized and senseless, and I never really put any effort into understanding it. Most YouTubers have thrown their own theories into the ring, but you can only do so much with what the game shows us. Most of the stories they try to put together either delve into fan fiction or don't make any sense at all. This is not to say that YouTubers are wrong. YouTubers like Grandmaster Julian, Pearly the Budgie, and others have shown some pretty solid theories, but I don't think they're right. The devs outright said that lore is supposed to be open to different interpretations for each person, so it's only natural that I throw my hat in the ring. I may not have as much time spent on the game compared to the crazy amount of seven fantastic top hats, but I have my fair share of experience. So with no further ado, I'm here to share what I believe to be the story of the Rat Boy's Nightmare. Let's start with some of the questions that I want answered. What is the Nightmare? Who is Journeyman, Old Tin Toy, and Circus? If you look around Doppeltown, you will find rat folk telling the purpose of the giant rat boy. Some quotes include, the giant has fallen from the sky, the rat boy vision is warping this very land, and his awakening will bring peace to this land. The rat folk aim to protect the giant rat boy, but what is he doing daydreaming off the coast of town? As we enter the nightmare, we are introduced to a new character called Old Tin Toy. His dialogue comes down to wanting you to find his friend, the journeyman, who he says is up to no good. The nightmare's challenge is quite difficult, but at the end of the extremely long road, journeyman sits in an obscure location awaiting you. The journeyman appears friendly, or wanting to cure the player's tired feet and shaking thoughts. He proceeds to play three songs, which he says unlocks mechanisms. To what exactly, it is unknown. The only hint we get is that we've already gone through the second mechanism, which he has saw on us go in. The giant rat folk also uses the term mechanism to describe what is required to open the vault door, but this is obviously wrong because the journeyman clearly says here that we have already gone through the second one, which we haven't by the time we have talked to journeyman. Although I don't think these mechanisms are important to the story, it's worth mentioning that your meeting with journeyman is, quote, a meeting of power, and that without his vision, our story is incomplete. I believe journeyman is literally the embodiment of journey. We must understand the journey for our story to be complete, and once we understand that it is the journey and not the end, will we have power? Now that's grasping at straws, I know, but it's the best the community can come up with in terms of an explanation behind the existence of Journeyman. When we question Journeyman's motives, he replies that asking such questions will make us grow small just like him. We can't outright confirm that him is old tin toy, but it makes sense considering there is no other substantial characters which have bad intentions for the player. Oh that's right, I haven't even talked about old tin toy's betrayal. <clears throat> Spoiler. Old Tin Toy tricks us as we pass the vault. Tin Toy goes on to explain that opening the vault has made a massive hall which has allowed the nightmare to grow. There's also dialogue of a locked door, but I assume because the dialogue didn't change from the circus boss was not in the game, that the locked door is referring to the door in circus, which was locked at the time of its creation. But it could also mean a metaphor, as Old Tin Toy goes on to explain that the door hides the nightmare's power, which we may never open. My best assumption is that the term locked means the circus boss fight is the lock that prevents us from opening the door and stopping the nightmare. But is the circus boss the lock, or is it the deep sleep that the rapway is in the lock? For this theory, I'm going to assume the secondary. This then proves that the circus boss is the nightmare of the rat, or at least the manifestation of it. And waking up the rat boy allows us to access his nightmare. But that doesn't explain Tintoy's departing words. But when time has taken you, and you have forgotten me, my nightmare will be yours. What is Tintoy's nightmare? And what does he have to do with all of this? The giant rat folk is a dump load of words, and almost every player skips through its dialogue, missing crucial information. For example, the giant rat folk outright says that he would come from the same world as the giant rat boy. This is also proven from when we first spawn in the game, we fall from the sky just like the rat boy. He goes on to explain other stuff which we already know, but what is crucial is him saying that the origin of the nightmare is made from a third party, or as he quotes, it is the nightmare itself. Remember who is the nightmare? The circus. Need more proof? The changing machine outright says that a horrible dream can only exist with the intention of the wrong sort. This means Old Tin Toy is not in relation to the creation of the nightmare because he isn't the nightmare. The circus is. Where else do we find a reference to Old Tin Toy? The monstrous facade, dropped by a bird in the maze of the root. It has the description of a gift from an old friend. Nowhere else in the game is there any other description of something that is a friend but Old Tin Toy when he mentions he wants to find Journeyman, his friend. The maze of the route is also connected to the old cave. Unfortunately, this area really lacks any explanation but other than the tall Anthony's whose secret dialogue only asks to be left alone to grow. Other than that bird, there's no reference to Old Tin Toy anywhere in the game, and this makes my job as a theorist much harder. 
So the best conclusion we can make is that old Tintoy is a byproduct of the nightmare who wishes it to flourish so that he may grow power or something of the sort. We really don't know, but it's a high chance to be explored upon the next update, which won't come. So that's it. The Nightmare is a creation of the circus who indeed is a bad guy with bad intentions, just in case you had any doubt. And Old Tin Toy is a creation from the circus which uses our want for adventure slash journey to make us open the vault to allow the Nightmare to grow, just like all the adventurers before us. And we end up falling for his trick and allow the Nightmare to grow, but we prevent it afterwards, waking the Rat Boy from his Nightmare and stopping the Nightmare from manifesting in the overworld and bring peace to the land of Topple Town. Or maybe not. There are a few inconsistencies with my theory, and I'm going to explain them at three times speed. The rat was wrong earlier in his speech. He said it was forced to find the vault, which is not. Although the circus master is also messaging saying thanks for playing with the game, obviously this is not actually a big rat boy from Gateway Beans. And I will remain inspired by the circus. Which makes sense to me. But that's not the entire story. Most fans of Fantastic Frontier will know that there is another great force waiting to invade the peaceful lands of the Overworld. But that's a story for another day. Let me know what you think about my theory in the comments, and if this video gets enough attention, I'll make a part two about the Overworld. Besides that, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.